Jim Gonzalez here with EDI Support. Uh, so we're going to take a look, a little bit more of a detailed look into API. Um, so what you can see here that I have on the screen is I'm showing you that there's two different types of connection or uh, ways to set up an API. There's SOAP and then there's REST. Um, as you can see, you're the client. If you think of it that way, um, data, SOAP standard, Trans basically putting the data and the SOAP standard together and doing the actual transform of data in XML to a server. Um, REST, client, data, XML, or JSON to a server. So they're going to indicate how they're going to allow you to make your API connection, either via SOAP or REST. And depending on which one it is, in SOAP, you have to use XML if it's REST. You can use SOAP or you can use XML or JSON. Um, so if we think of it, think of it this way, um, and it's a good analogy. You know, I, I'm not the one that came up with this, but it's a, it's a one that works. If you think of going to a restaurant, so you go to a restaurant. That restaurant is essentially the server that you want to connect to. You get a menu. When, so you make that connection, the menu tells you what you are allowed to access or the data that you're able to obtain. From that menu, you then place your order. Your order goes back to the restaurant. The restaurant kitchen supplies you the information back. Okay, so think of APIs as being that exact same thing. You're seeing off the menu what you would like to order because that menu showing you what's accessible or obtainable. You're then using your API to connect and gather the information. And from gathering the information or reaching out to the, the back of the restaurant and saying to the kitchen, hey, this is what he's looking for they're then going to bring you the data. So if we look at a real life piece of information that we have, if you go out and you do a simple search for Dynamics uh, 365 Business Central, you can do it with NetSuite, you can do it with QuickBooks, you can do it with any of the uh, online ERPs, they're going to give you the method of utilizing an API. So in this scenario, this is real life, here's the URL that you would be connecting to. As you can see here with the introduction of multi-business, needs to URL to retrieve a list of environments deployed on the tenant, call, make a get to here. From here, Here's our, if you, the way that they're giving us this in the documentation, here is our menu. So here's the menu of information we can get if we make a connection to this particular API, we can obtain information, sales order, sales invoice. So if I go to sales invoice, look, here it tells me the methods to get information from sales invoice. And here's our values that we can get from a sales invoice. Here's even a representation of the, the JSON and how it would look. So again, if you do a little search online, if you're trying to make a connection via API, most of the information is out there and obtainable for you. Um, so think of it this way, again, you're making a connection to a server, you're logging in, essentially, and then you're gathering the information that you're looking for, or you're posting. So either a get, delete, post, or a patch for updates. Anyways, if you have any questions, reach out to us.